Hey guys, here. So, theme builders coming tomorrow. EA's teasing them in what I think is the worst like way of getting the image. They couldn't they couldn't just upload like Imager or something or do something like that, but I don't know. I guess it's the best way of fitting it on Twitter. Uh, but let's go through some of these cards. They are going to like wait. Well, there's there. There it goes. There it goes. There it goes. Uh, so, go through each of the teams and of course, before we get into anything, I want to go through the fact that series trophies are actually not being cut in half tomorrow. Whether you already got your coins, you're going to get your coins next series. It doesn't really matter uh, because coins are coins. And, and really, I don't think they're going to bring any series masters. If they do, cool. If they don't, you know, there's really no difference. But definitely can wait and see now. Uh, they say next series, of course, will be cut in half. But they only did it for one-to-one -one because they didn't have any communication. Uh, they will give us a week's notice in advance. Uh, but they will be 2-1 to one going forward. So best to get them done going forward. But right now you can kind of sit on them for a little bit. See if anything crazy comes out. But there you go. So let's go through the theme builders and uh, take a look in, at our favorite ones. Of course, you know, maybe I'll rank them when we get their full stats. But uh, not being able to see anything kind of like limits our ability. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll rank them tomorrow once we get that. And we'll do a video tomorrow on that. Maybe tomorrow afternoon, tomorrow night. Uh, Riley Reef, a solid right left tackle, I mean. And uh, actually not that good, right? 86. I mean, the thing is, like, it's a tackle. So even though stats aren't top tier, it doesn't really matter, right? If you get edge threat, he's based, or edge, pre edge protector, it's basically the same as every other one. All right, next up, Jimmy Moreland at 90 speed. Wow, 90 speed. So it's, like, right up there with, like, some of those 84 team builders that had, like, the high-end speed. Sure, his coverage stats are ass, but that is really good on a theme team, right? Because this game is just built around speed. I mean, this is phenomenal. The, the Washington football team got a good card. All right, next up, C.D. Lamb. We saw him teased. Speed 88. Uh, pretty good overall, I'd say. Nothing is insanely crazy because the deep route rating doesn't get to 90. Um, otherwise, pretty good. Kevin King. He's tall, right? Isn't Kevin King like 6'3 or something? I love this card, right? Man zone, really bad. But height, speed, duh, I yeah, I, I appreciate because, you know, Tall boys, thick boys. I love the size. Call me a size queen, okay? Kevin King, yes. Great card. Uh, Devin Kennard, right outside linebacker. Power moves only in 82, so he's not like a pass rusher. They don't show his zone coverage on here, but he's slow, right? <sighs> they do linebackers so dirty because of how, you know, they don't that, do that well against the run. Like, if linebackers play the run legitimately, I'd be more excited about them, but they don't. So how do we grade them, right? We can't. Shoot. Uh, KZ, 88 speed, 82 zone coverage on him. Um, I think he's pretty good, right? He's up there for speed stats. Not anything insane, but 88 is not bad. Goff, Goff with a throw power of 87. Accuracies all over 80. He'll be a great quarterback. You know, probably won't be able to escape, uh, being a escape artist. What is Goff's... Um, what is this archetype? Let me look at Mudhead for that. But uh, the Rams got their QB. Goff, Jared Goff. He is a field general archetype. So that's the same as Marino, right? Uh, Marino, let me take a look. Marino is also a field general. So I think Goff... Well, this card, it won't get three chemistry slots, but you might be able to get set feet lead on it. You won't get Hot Round Master, because I think that you have to be a 90 overall, but... That ain't, that, ain't, that ain't terrible, I guess, for a theme team. It's not, you know, not as good as Marino, but it's still there. Nathan Gary, 87 speed at left outside linebacker. That's actually really nice. He, this is actually a really solid coverage linebacker because you know he's not going to be pass rushing at all. You can't send him. He's not no power or finesse moves. Block shed, he's not great against the run, but like block shed, block, sh block shed, and run block. I don't know, man. It just feels like it's like the, the, the timer on that shit takes too long nowadays. So, like, block shed, I'll, I'll put a safety there, and they'll shed the same time as the linebacker with high block should well. It's frustrating, but 87 speed, I like this card. He won't jump for picks, but at least he'll be able to chase down a couple ball carriers. Next up, Puna Ford. Didn't realize this was a guy. Puna. Dude, this guy looks thick. What's Puna's weight? All right, Puna. Puna Ford is 310. Ah, not thick enough. Damn it. All right. 310. 84 block shed. Nah. He can't rush the passer. Not the greatest card. Rasul Douglas. 
87 speed at CB. Not useless. Not amazing. Not useless. I like the rest of his, his coverage stats were that great either. Taylor Decker, left tackle. Decker, I hardly know her. Does it say rep? No, it's definitely run block power, but it kind of looked like rep at a distance. The B looks like an E. Do I need an eye test? Uh, run block at 79 is, is kind of trash. I don't like it, Taylor. I feel like Taylor Decker, huh? That name sounds familiar. Eric McCoy. Fine. A center. Cromulent. Xavier McKinney. An 87 speed free safety with 84 hit power. I'm here for it. I think Edmonds is better, but it looks like this guy's got better like coverage stats. Um, Xavier, what's Xavier's height? Xavier McKinney is six foot. All right, not bad, not bad. Tristan Wirfs. Okay, he's got the 80s, fine. Trubo, Trubo for the Bears theme team. You need your quarterback, you got it. Medium accuracy 78. Sadly, accuracy over 75 is all about the same this year. So Trubo's going to throw the ball about as well as Dan Marino. Just won't have the abilities. Uh, but next up, Dirk, Dirkizi Tart. I like this card a lot, dude. 89 speed. At six. Yeah, this card's great. 49ers got another great piece for their theme team. Although at safety, they already have Ronnie Lott. But he might be free safety, so that's not a bad idea. All right, AFC Builders. All right, let's stop. Willie Snee. Oh, 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 hang on, hang on. Tavan Brown. Tavan Brown. Yeah, I think I got through all of them in the NFC. Um, not that good, right? 78 block shed? That's terrible. Not that it matters a ton because the run timer is still fucked up, but damn. It's kind of important. It, it, he'll at least shed a little bit, but even inside stuff, they just run past them as they, even as they shed. I don't know. Max Crosby. It's always better to have better block shed, but how much it matters this year with the run? You got to basically shoot gaps for the run this year. It's sad. Uh, Max, 81 speed at left end. Power and finesse move balanced. Black shed low. Not exactly the greatest. 81 speed. It's not bad. Bud Dupree, 87 speed at outside linebacker. Only an 85 power move. 81 block shed. I think this Bud's for you. Bud needed an upgrade for sure because he's been dominating dudes out there. Um, I was really hoping for a Deontay Johnson. But he might get like that team affinity thing that's coming out or what it, whatever it is. Whoever's playing really well. Bud Dupree, uh, pretty average. But you know what? Adding Saxon Speed out there for the Steelers theme team, never a bad idea. All right. I won't get this name right at all. Florisuno Fatusaki. Fatu, fat, fat UK Assy. Fat UK Assy. All right. Defense attack with 82 blocks, Shen. How 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 fat is he? Please be thick. Fat. 315. I need you fatter. Alright. Um I want you 350 or bust. Shelby Harris with 82 block shed. Wait. Watch this. Rock Bottom Coins is the number one place to get your Madden 21 coins. If you make coins for my videos, sell them to Rock Bottom. If you're buying, use my code GUTBOX for 15% off. Got it. All right, Chevy Harris. He's okay. 82 block shed. Another remarkable. Quan Jones. He don't look like that. He's 350. Block shed, power move, finesse move. 59 speed. Wow. Do not like that card at all. You won't be able to chase down any quarterbacks or running backs. It's too slow, in my opinion. I need, like, 70. All right, Dawson Knox. I prefer Fort Knox. Because that's where all my gold is. Gold. Yes, it's my gold. Not bad. 86 speed for a tight end. Dude, I don't hate this card. Catch and traffic, spec catch. They kind of, like, nerfed catching still. Receivers still drop a lot of balls, it feels like. But only, like, when they're in coverage. But yeah, receivers aren't hanging on to it nearly as much as they used to be. It's not as bad as it was yesterday, but that's my impression. Defensive back still dropped the hell out of the ball. Sonny Michelle. You know, this ain't bad, dude. Is this similar? I mean, his catching isn't high enough. What was today's... Uh, what was today Cook's card? Or Cook card? 
Delvin Cook. He was 89 speed with 92 change of direction. Oh, okay. We'll see. How, we'll, we'll end up uh, seeing how it goes. So Cook was a little bit faster. Agility, acceleration. Yeah, I don't know. Sonny can be pretty good. Sadly, sadly, like running backs right now for theme teams because Barry Sanders on every theme team. Maybe I, I, I wonder if everybody's pissed, right? Are Patriots fans currently beside themselves? Are they going around the city right now, calling up and wondering what, what's happening? God, I forgot the meme. Shit, I'm terrible at this. Never mind, forgive me. 87 speed outside linebacker. That's kind of cool. He's got no pass rush moves, but at least he can run. That's what matters at that position. As a, as a drop linebacker, this is good. I like Kenneth. Larry, I'm not going to say the last name. Block shed 81, power move 86. Not bad for defensive tackle power move. Block shed's a little lower than XD, though. Kalichi Osamili. Eh. 79 run block. That needed to be higher. Uh, pass block and power and finesse are pretty solid, though. 85, 82. Don't hate it. Bradley Roby. Is it time to sell Roby's? Oh, he was 89 speed shoot. I accidentally went past them. CJ Uzuma. Roby ain't bad, though. 84 speed tight end. Nothing crazy about his route running stats, either. Eh. Anthony Walker. Little slow for middle linebacker. I'm going to pass on him. 83 hit power is eh. Christian Wilkins, block shed power move, low end. Willie Sneed, 87 speed wide receiver, solid, fine on a theme team, nothing extraordinary. He doesn't hit any any route running thresholds at 90. Don't love him. Tavon Bryan, I feel like, did we go through him already? Yeah, I feel like we did. We already looked at his weight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Who's the one we missed? I don't know, I think my favorite is these fast DBs that they bring out again. Team Builders. It's going to be fast DB promo, huh? And outside linebacker. Yeah, the, the speed of the outside linebackers is kind of cool. Yeah, I don't mind Bradley Roby's card one bit. 89 speed, 89 acceleration, 88. Sure, his stats aren't, aren't great, but you all know speed's more important. All right, that's it. Dog, everything else, you know... Uh, you know we're getting this exchange pack. Some people smartly probably are stacking up at 85s. The problem with the 85s is they're going for 45k right now. 45k times three, that's a bit, dudes. That's like 135,000 coins. The number of 87s above that range for 385s. It's let me should I zoom out? Let me zoom out a little bit. For overall 87 to 88, we sort by price descending. I feel like there's... Obviously, Lawrence Taylor would be a huge get, right? This price is going to crash. I can see some, but like, all right. There are 10 pages of this, and let's well, let's get rid of the uh, the Nats, just in case there's a few of them. Only three pages. All right, three pages and one-third are going to be profitable. And this profit will shrink. But I think if you get on right away, but even, I mean, okay, okay. <clears throat> with tax, with tax, the ones under 150 aren't going to be profitable. So there's going to be like, what, Max Strong? The really one, that, the only one that's going to be crazy is this Lawrence Taylor, right? Isaiah Simmons, you literally can't pull. So Lawrence Taylor, Reggie Wayne, Gilmore, Tyreek. I wonder if this will bring down the price of Tyreek, meaning his power up's going to go up in price. Sometimes that shit happens. Aaron Donald, Bo Jackson. And... That's tough. Like, the only thing that I saw today that were, like, pretty good, uh, somebody said might work, which then I do the math on, and I'm like, well, it's still the same value. Like, like, these superstar MVPs, if you do the set for, like, you know, Tyron Matthew, but he's going for 200K, and it costs 300K to do the set, at least what I saw earlier, because the top two are, like, 90K, the bottom two are at 60K. So yeah, 90K plus 90K is 180. 60 plus 60 is 120. So it's 300K to the set. Tyron sells for 200. You're getting 286s back at 50K a pop, which is literally the price of 85s right now. 
So that doesn't change anything either. So I don't know. I'm not stacking up. I need fives. It might be, you know, as a content creator, it might be worth it, but I'm not really seeing a whole lot with 85s right now. Who knows? Maybe you might be right. Maybe something will glitch will come. Just pulling Lawrence Taylor itself will... If you pull Lawrence Taylor, you're basically made in the shade. But I don't imagine his price is going to stay like this. I would get... If I, I have an 88 Lawrence Taylor, I'd be selling tonight. Any sort of 88, I'd be selling tonight. 87, I'm selling tonight. Tomorrow's increasing pack odds. Yeah, definitely get out from under your... Uh, your cards today, in my opinion. Or don't. Or hold it. Maybe maybe I'm wrong. Maybe they don't increase odds this year. I don't know. That's just me speculating. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. We'll take a look at all of them and rank them maybe tomorrow. Um, but uh, that's it. Good luck on Series 2. Peace.